and another one bites the dust. It's over. Blade vs. Deadpool is officially over. It's done. It's over with. Edited. Uploaded. Everything. I can say without a doubt this video is actually the most I've ever done, realistically. When I say that, I mean like, this movie took so much more time than I thought it would take when it comes to editing. I was supposed to have it out on Friday uh, evening, but I got caught up in trying to be good at a new job that I started. For those of you who don't know, I had left my job at the theater mainly because the staff there, I mean, the staff there with like people that I worked with, they were great. I love them so much. And if they're watching this, just know you guys, I still love you to this day. It's just the work environment was not going to be working for me much longer. So for those of you who do know personally what happened, then you already know the whole story. But basically the situation with the theater, it just got worse and worse as I started working there. And it just wasn't working out. Oh, by the way, I'm in the gym in case somebody wants to ask that. Why I'm in such a big room. I'm in the gym right now. I have my own little personal gym in my apartment complex, so I get to come here as much as I want. So, this leads to the question. Now that Blade vs. Deadpool is done, what am I going to do after this? The thing is, is like I already have a giant list of films that we're going to be doing all together this one entire year. Uh, instead of doing Concrete Jungle Black Panther movie that I was talking about a while ago, Yeah, that one. Um, I was going to make that in the next fall or in the in spring, but the thing is, is that my friend AJ really wants to make this movie, and he really wants to get into his Black Panther character. So I told him, sure. So the thing is, I've already looked up a lot of fan films that make Black Panther films, and it turns out that uh, Black Panther does really well in the winter type of deal. So with the fact that the winter actually does help with a lot of lighting because the snow reflects a lot of light from the sun, um, I feel like it would work pretty damn well. Uh, on top of that, it's a matter of I just really want to get him to be in the Black Panther because he's a big fan of Black Panther like I am with Deadpool, and I really want to help him out this time around. Also, he's got a big idea coming out for some of you who would know him personally, and I can't tell you what it is, but I feel like if he does decide to make it on his YouTube channel, then you guys should check it out for yourselves. You want to know what his YouTube channel is? It's Cosplayer's Kitchen. Go ahead and check it out in the description box below. I'll leave it in there so you guys can check it out for yourself. He makes food for certain cosplayers. So if you wanted to cosplay Spider-Man, he's got, he's got the guest of Spider-Man on there. He's got Deadpool on there. He makes food with heroes and stuff like that. And it's pretty fucking awesome. You should go check it out. Now, back to what I was saying about the film. It took so much more time and effort than I thought it was going to take. Mainly because re-edits had to be redone. Reshoots were almost having to be a consideration. Casts were starting to become much more uh, hard to come by, and we had to work with a certain budget, and I was not enjoying that at all. I had to try and move around a little bit uh, through, like, you know, financial purposes and stuff like that just to get certain things that I needed for the film. But it didn't really work out too well. On top of that, the lighting situations in the movie were really bad. I had to brighten up the screen just to make it look better because some scenes with the fight scenes were just too dark and I couldn't see a damn thing. And it didn't really work too well given the fact that the lighting just kept changing and I had to keep brightening up every scene. So now with that being said, um, next in line is probably going to be the Black Panther film coming up this winter. But before this fall ends, before October ends, I have a little something I want to do but I don't know if I'm going to be able to put it together in time before Halloween comes around, but I do hope that I do. If I don't, I still have the whole month of November to do it because it's still not going to be snowing just yet, so I still have a little bit of time to do so. But in the meantime, I got Black Panther to look forward to, and I honestly cannot wait to make this. Um, it's been a different character coming along for me. It's like, you know, I've never really made any other characters besides the Bounty Hunter and Deadpool because it's, these are the characters I just know very well, so... Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. But Blade vs. Deadpool is done. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave that video in the description box below so you can go check it out for yourself. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. It took a long time to make this movie. So glad it's done. Um, and sooner or later I'm going to be having the bloopers coming out. I'm maybe going to make behind the scenes a little bit. Or a documentary of me talking about how what it was like making the film all together. And you guys can go check it out for yourself. So... Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm about to go hit these fucking machines again, like I do almost every single day, and get ripped, you know, get lose some weight, so that way, the next step project that I'm in, you guys will see that I've been putting a lot of work into it. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.
give it to your heart. He gon' give it to your ex. Gon' give it to your heart. He gon' give it to your heart.